They're 30th in defending or defensive rebounding, which means if you're the Wizards, go and attack the offensive glass. Multitude of versatile defenders on the wing. They're going to be able to switch almost one through five. There you go, pick and roll right to Gafford. And Denny Avdi is really good at running the pick and roll as well. You could do it with, with he and Gafford. Gary Trent Jr. will try for three, and that's good. Trent Jr. Beal the skip pass. Dinwiddie will try for three. And Spencer Dinwiddie, who's been kind of cold from three-point land. Chris Boucher comes in out of the timeout. And Dinwiddie took a shot. Here's Van Vliet, able to hit it over Gafford. Beal has it poked away, able to get it back to Avdia. Underneath, Gafford all alone, the two-handed jam. I love how the team is looking for him almost every possession down the floor. Avdia just put the clamps on. Here's Beal on the reverse. Off the feed by KCP. And Thomas Bryant there for the Wizards. Here's Trent left open for three. Gary Trent Jr. to open up this game. Well, they're switching presses to True out of. Beal. Fellow dunk by Thomas Bryant. Beal gets right by Barnes. Too nice. strong. The follow is good. Yes, yeah, second. Thomas Bryant oh. against Boucher showing off the handles. Okay. Thomas oh. Bryant with the left hand. Hey, your opponents have to get ready. I tell you what, that was an impressive move by Thomas Bryant. Van Fleet doesn't fall. Solid defense by Watson. Barnes. Scotty Barnes off to a good, good start to his career. To his NBA career. I mean, fourth in scoring when you talk about all the rookies, number one in rebounding, third in assists. So this is a guy that's capable of doing everything. Don't sleep, he can't facilitate. Right now, he's looking for his own shot, gets the roll, and he'll have a chance for a three-point play. Shortly, you have to give guys opportunity to prove this stuff, whether they're going to be here or somewhere else. Hachimura, the turnarounds, and Rui Hachimura off the bench has four, now at 12. Gary Trent Jr., top of the key three, another one for him. He's been the offense. Achua, wow, hits the three. To the left hand last minute over Montrez and finishing. KCP in the corner, his three. That snaps an 0 for 10 by the Wizards. Clipping Fred Van Vliet. The lob, Barnes underneath. 13 points for Scotty Barnes. Trez, the quick turnaround jumper. Woo. Ananobi, underneath Boucher with those long arms. Turnovers have led to 14 points, another one. Barnes and Toronto has its first lead. Beal finds Dinwiddie, shot clock at two. Dinwiddie has to step back, a deep three, and that's a big shot right there by Spencer Dinwiddie. Rookie leaders graphic right there gonna be special gonna have some promising careers in this league Fred Van Vliet knocks down the three definitely cold but he'll get him up though JK oh yeah yeah 15 three-point attempts last game he had 31 three-point attempts in his last two games Siakam with the size over Beal and that's in and out but Siakam's there for the putback Van Vliet keeps the dribble alive shot clock down to four Barnes Puts it up to beat the shot clock. Dinwiddie, another three for Spencer Dinwiddie. And Bleak, little hesitation. Somehow was able to muscle that. Avdia trying to stay with Siakam, he does. Van Fleet, a deep three. And bad news for the Wizards, 11-0 run here by the Raptors. Largest lead of the game, shot clock to four. Neto puts it up over Boucher. Deal off the handoff. Hachimura steps into a three and hits it. Barnes. Get it again. Where he was trapped and he threw the ball away. I think he's gonna have to figure out in the fourth quarter because if he doesn't, the Wizards might be in trouble. The Wizards are in trouble right now. 
with all this depth, the real question is, what's the rotation and what works on a nightly basis? It's a game-by-game -game scenario. And Boucher hits another three. Five points in that second and 36 in the third. I mean, what's up? What's up next, 40? Ananobi fading away over Dinwiddie. Chua makes it an 18 point game. The Wizards just look in disarray right now offensively as Beal able to hit the three and bail out the team. Beal into the paint, stops, turns around, got it, and the foul. Now Dinwiddie on the switch, shot clock to five. Siakam able to hit the jumper, Pascal. Another guy in to replace Davis Bertans. Yes, he's being a floor yeah. spacer, but you're going to need somebody else that can bring. Oh, wow. They're going to call that a continuation. The depth of this team can be positive, but also could be negative. And I think this is what we're seeing right now. It's going to be a struggle to find the right rotation. J.K., what do you think? Another big three by Dinwiddie. And Anobi gets it blocked by Harrell as he obliges. Great anticipation by Montrez. Avdia. Along the baseline with the left, puts it in. Spencer we match up against Pascal Siakam. Beal off the feed by Avdia. Beal, tough shots. Harold trying to keep it alive. He does, goes up, got it, and the foul. Tough shot, air ball. Wizards up ahead, Trez. Six minutes of the third quarter. Van Vliet for three. That's good in Toronto. Five seconds on the shot clock. Barnes. Turnarounds. Rebound goes into the hands of Ananobi. And confidence going into that third quarter where they scored 36 points. And the Wizards just struggle. Montrezero hits the three. Just have to hope that this loss here tonight doesn't have a bigger impact when this whole thing ends at the end of the year.